all right welcome back guys this is where we'll be continuing from from where we left off so let's get right into it so the star the star script okay we need to enable collision detection so we do that by enabling the collision manager so we we'll have manager then we'll call the director the director has a number of um, things um, that, 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 that are used for games so for example you can pause or resume um, the gameplay um, I, ex I don't explain how um, I'll write the code in this one um, but you could for example assign a function that has cc.director um, dot resume or cc dot director dot pause um, and things like that but the main idea is the director has a whole lot of things because it controls um, the game all right so I will go on and in this case we want to get the collision manager um, there's also a physics manager for more complex box 2d physics but in this case we just need the simpler one So say manager dot enabled, and then we we'll set it to true. This will enable the the physics manager. All right. Then I will just do something um, to to show us what this looks like. Okay. Um, when it's on. All right. Manager dot enabled debug draw, and also for the box. Uh, to be to be true so when we've enabled physics uh, rather the collision detection so when we run this we'll be able to see um, the circles that are used all right and then if they come into contact all right we can then write a function that that, that, that does something all right so I'll close this um, from that small inspection I've noticed something um, that might not um, work well for our game let me just set this opacity back to 100 okay so the blob will have to be player Okay, we need it to have a bigger a bigger circle collider. Let's try it at 60 and then see how big it is. Um, because in some cases it might not be able to touch the star. Okay, I think that's large enough. Maybe I'll add another 20. So put it at 80. So that if it just comes close. Okay, so the circle is now much larger. Okay. Yeah, all right. So I'll save this and then go back in the source code and then write the function that's going to detect if a collision happens, if the two meet, all right? So the idea is these uh, line 23 and 24 enable the collision manager. Line 25 and 26 enable us to see um, the different uh, collision bodies okay so we'll go on and write our, our function that's able to to detect collisions so so this is going to be the self collider and the other collider all right so what we can do in here, for example, is first of all, let's just log console.log. So we can say self collider dot name and then we could also say console.log other collider dot name so that we see if the game is able to pick up that those two have actually uh, come into contact so i'll close that i will i will clear that 
Then I'm going to move closer to the star. All right. Notice that when the star and the blob meet, um, here a collision should be detected. Okay. There seems to be an error as I'm not able to pick up um, that collision. Let me just look at um, the source code on collision enter. Self collider dot name and other collider dot name. Okay. Okay, so everything looks fine. Condition manager. All right, let me just run that one more time and then verify if we are okay. No, I still can't pick up. Okay. Uh, let me try and fix this. 